the Joe Rogan experience. What you know, like there's a kid named uh, John Gotti the third. It's John Gotti, the gangster's grandson. Yeah. And he's an MMA fighter. Oh, no shit. And he's good. No shit. He's good, yeah. Wow. He's, so far, he's fighting on these uh, small promotions, but he's fucking people up. And wow. he's jacked. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember John, because I lived uh, on Mulberry Street in Italy. Yeah, in I remember Little that Italy. place. And it was a fucking tenement apartment, and downstairs, literally downstairs and one door over, was the Ravenite Social Club, which was where Gotti met on Wednesday nights. Yeah. All the bosses would pull up, and the uh, the capos, and I don't know the terms, but they lined up fucking limos you right up Mulberry all? Street. Oh, yeah. They'd walk wow. up and down the street smoking cigars, and John Gotti Jr. was kind of in charge at that time, which I guess would be this guy's yes. father. Yes. And uh, he... Parent wasn't known as being that sharp. <gasps> and, uh, How dare you? Well, the family kind of fell apart since then. Oh, I don't, I don't well, think there's a... I think the FBI just had unlimited resources, government backing, and they slowly picked the fucking organization apart and then got people to rat on each other. They bugged the Ravenite Social Club. They yep. got inside and they bugged it. And then when they found out it was bugged, the uh, the wise guys would walk up and down Mulberry Street and talk about their business. So they so bugged the cars on the route. They bugged the hubcaps of the cars yeah. on the route. You heard about yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was always the thing about that guy, the Chin. What's his name? Uh, the Chin Gigianti. How the fuck do you say his name? Vincent the Chin. Uh -huh. he, he was crazy. But he wasn't crazy, but he would act crazy. So he'd walk around in a bathroom. Oh, in the bathroom, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. he was up on trial. He was yeah. out on bail. I just say he was out of his fucking mind. Yeah, he that's just right. wandered through the streets with yep. a bathrobe on, playing crazy. <laughs> that's him. I'm crazy. I'm just walking around. I'm crazy. Dude. <laughs> that would so be they, fun. So they bugged him, too. That'd be I fun think, to pretend you're crazy. I think he was actually the guy that they got with the hubcaps. Oh, yeah. Or maybe one, maybe they used that tactic more than once. Because yeah. these guys, you know, they, they had a fucking neighborhood where they would go to. And when they were in that neighborhood, that was their, their territory. Right. right. Like, when you were living there, was that going on? Like, Gotti was out of jail? He no, Gotti in was jail? in jail when he was I in was jail there. When you, yeah. But they still, they still, still showed up. Running. Most of the guys, I think, I think their real headquarters is more in Brooklyn, but they still came back to Mulberry Street. And it is literally across the street was uh, St. Patrick's School, which is where... Robert De Niro and Scorsese went to school as Whoa. kids. And where, you remember the film Mean Streets? Yeah. That was shot. Remember they jump over the wall into the cemetery? That's that's uh, St. Patrick's School. And it's across from the Ravenite Social Club. Fuck, I don't remember anything about that movie. I remember the movie, but I, I don't remember anything about what happened in it. I need to see that one again. Yeah, I need to see that one again. <laughs>